Once again, today's top stories. London has endured another night of German bombing. Most damage was concentrated in the East End. The RAF has struck enemy aerodromes in La Havre and the Low Countries. In Russia, further German losses are reported around Leningrad. In Asia, the American fortress at Corregidor is still defiant, but Japanese forces are reported nearing the Burmese oil fields. And that concludes the news summary. We now return you to our music program. See here, this isn't about your dedication. Pringle certainly attests to your loyalty. No, your dismissal stems from the Titanic mission. That failure can no longer be ignored, especially now. I am sorry, but someone must shoulder the blame. The service, you understand. We can't be held responsible. Forever locked in regret. But what if the past could be changed? Thirty years have come and gone since the night that saw the end of the world, my world. The service needed someone on the Titanic. They chose me. I was to wait for a signal from my contact, so I remained in my cabin. I left only once Georgia was on board, and that's when it came. There'd be no second chance. It was Sunday, April 14th, too late, you see, for the Titanic, for me. What if I'd met with my contact, prevented disaster? What if the past could be changed? What then? Good evening. I am Smethels, your steward. And, if I may say so, it is good to see you up and about. You've been in your cabin the whole voyage. A touch of the Maldon mare, was it? Seasickness can be quite unpleasant. 
especially if it's one's first crossing. Since you haven't been out of your cabin, may I instruct you on how to get assistance while on board the Titanic? Very good. We of the White Star Line hope that your stay on board Titanic is as relaxing as possible. As you explore the ship, please bear in mind the following advice. Several personal items in your room, a brown satchel and a pocket watch, are quite useful to you during your voyage. Take them with you. You shall want to converse with other passengers. If you fail to understand them, click on their face. They will repeat their last sentence. The purser. His office is on sea deck, just off the forward grand stairs. The elevator, or lift as we call it, has an attendant who can direct you to various sections of the ship. The lifts are located behind the forward grand staircase. Lastly, you may always find me by returning to your cabin, C-73, and ringing the bell to the right of the door. Your correspondence. 2,200 on board, and they all want messages delivered promptly. Even if it is 1912, and the Titanic, the most advanced means of sea conveyance ever devised, I still have only two hands. Here, a map of the ship for you. Compliments of the White Star Line. I have taken the liberty of indicating your cabin, C-73. Of course, on a Sunday evening at this hour, there won't be many people out. Will there be anything else? A young lady. A most insistent young lady. Have you unpacked? You'll find your trunk key in your bag on the bed. And remember your personal effects, your watch and bag. If you require additional assistance, please ring the bell by the door. Good night. Thank you.